How to Read Your Degree Progress Report Your Degree Progress Report, commonly known as your DPR, is an essential tool that evaluates your progress with all of your graduation requirements, including general education, university, and major requirements. It takes into account all of your coursework, your courses in progress and completed courses from SF State, any units transferred in from other institutions, and any units from test credits. It also indicates which requirements are still outstanding. We recommend you check your DPR regularly to make sure you're on track for graduation. To view your degree progress report, log into your student center through your San Francisco State University gateway with your student ID number and password. Once you have reached your student center, it should look similar to this. Using the other academic drop-down menu, under the academic section on the left side, select degree progress report. Click on the double arrow button. It may take a few seconds to run your report, but you can tell it is loading if you see the loading icon on the upper right side of your screen. The first thing you'll notice after your name and ID number are two boxes, current academic objective and current academic summary. You should verify the current academic objective has accurate information. As an undergraduate student pursuing a bachelor's degree, it should indicate your career as undergraduate and your program as undergrad degree FA. It also includes requirement catalog term, which is the bulletin year you are held to for your general education and university requirements. This is commonly the year you started at SF State. Under plan, it should indicate your declared major and the year you declared the major. You will be held to the major requirements based on that bulletin year. If you have a minor as in this case, it will also be listed in this box. In the current academic summary box, it shows your last term registered at SF State, your current academic standing, your overall GPA also known as your cumulative GPA, and your SF State GPA. If you are a new student, some or all of these might be blank, depending on whether you have any transfer work with a GPA. The next section is the general information section, which contains helpful information, including useful links, and a legend to the symbols used in your DPR, these symbols are used throughout the report to easily identify the status of your requirements, whether it is complete, in progress, or outstanding. It will also indicate if the coursework was completed at SF State or through transfer credit. Next to each requirement area, a green circle with a check mark indicates the requirement is complete. A yellow diamond indicates you are currently enrolled in a course that fulfills this requirement. And a red square indicates the requirement is not complete and you still need to take a course or courses to satisfy the requirement. Note that if you have already satisfied a requirement, enrollment in an additional course that meets the requirement will change the requirement status to a yellow diamond. Next to the specific course that has satisfied or will be satisfying a requirement, a green circle with a check mark indicates you completed the course at SF State. A yellow diamond indicates you are currently enrolled in a course that fulfills this requirement and a green arrow pointing to the left indicates the requirement has been met with transfer or test credit. Now that you know what these symbols mean, let's start looking at the report. You should always be sure to click on Expand All under the legend to see the full details of your report and how you have met each requirement, what you have currently in progress to meet a requirement, and what is still needed to meet your remaining requirements. It's good to double check that your DPR is accurate and that the courses you think should be satisfying a requirement are actually being applied properly. You can see that the degree progress report will review your requirements in a specific order. It first reviews your general education requirements, then your university-wide requirements, major program commonly referred to as your major requirements, and then your minor requirements if you have a declared minor. Your degree progress report identifies the start of each of these requirement sections with a dark blue banner like the degree progress report. We won't cover each of these requirements in detail, but we'll highlight the sections so you know what you'll find in them and how you can interpret your progress in the sections. The first requirement section listed is general education requirements. It will indicate the pattern of GE requirements you are following. If it says freshman, it means you started at SF State without any AP, IB, CLEP test credits or transfer credits. If it says transfer, it means you started at SF State with AP, IB, CLEP test credit or other transfer credit. If you see a red square next to this section, it means you have not completed all of your GE requirements. Your degree progress report will go through each of your GE requirements one by one starting with the lower division general education requirements, then the upper division general education requirements, and lastly the SF state studies requirement. The first subcategory of GE requirements is area AE English language communication and critical thinking, which is separated by a light gray banner. 
you will see the status icon next to this subcategory indicating whether this section is fully complete, is in progress to be completed, or still needs coursework for the requirement. In this case, the red square indicates this student has not yet completed all of Area A. Under the light gray banner, you will find a description explaining how the requirement can be satisfied. For Area A, it says to complete one course in each area. This means you need to take one course to satisfy Area A1 oral communication, one course to satisfy Area A2 written communication 1, and one course to satisfy Area A3 critical thinking. If we look at Area A1 oral communication, we can see it is not complete yet, indicated by the red square. Under each requirement, you will see the units required and any grade required. For Area 1, oral communication, you must take one course. To meet the requirement, the course must be at least three semester units or 2.68 quarter units, and you must earn a grade of C- or credit or higher to meet the requirement. Here's another example. We can see that this student completed their A2 requirement as indicated by the green circle with a checkmark next to the requirement. You can also see the course used to satisfy the requirement underneath. In this case, it wasn't a course, but was an AP English Literature and Composition test. It also indicates how many units the test credit was worth and when the units were transferred in. You can see the green arrow pointing to the left next to it indicating this was transferred in rather than completed at SF State. If an actual course was taken at SF State to meet the requirement, the course number and title, units, semester taken and grade would be listed along with a green circle with a check mark instead. If the course was in progress, you would see a yellow diamond in the status column. The rest of the DPR reads the same way. It is important to carefully read through each section and how you meet the requirements of each section. You should then verify that you have met each requirement or should create a plan for how you will meet the requirement in the future. If you scroll all the way down to the next section, you get to University Requirements. This section will cover a broad range of requirements, including your writing requirement for graduation, your U.S. history and U.S. and California government requirements, GPA requirements, and specific unit requirements, all of which you'll have to satisfy to earn your degree. You'll want to look over all of these to make sure not to miss any requirements. As we continue going down the DPR, the next blue banner you'll run across reads 120 minimum units required for degree. Technically, this is part of your university-wide requirements, but is often overlooked so we've separated it to highlight the requirement. To graduate, every student must complete a minimum of 120 units. It lists your units taken and how many units are still needed to reach 120. Note that taken includes any courses you completed, are registered for, or have in progress. In this example, you can see the red square next to the requirement indicating the requirement is not yet completed. This student has taken 90 units and needs 30 more units to reach the 120 unit requirement. It is important to note that the 120 unit requirement can be satisfied, however this doesn't mean you have met all of your other degree requirements. Completing at least 120 units is just one of the many requirements students must meet to graduate. The status of this requirement is typically a red square indicating you still need units to reach 120, or a yellow diamond meaning you are enrolled in courses that meet the requirement. A green circle with a check mark would only show if you have met the requirement and are no longer enrolled in courses. The next blue banner section, Courses Completed in Progress, shows you exactly how many units you have completed including work in progress and a list of all of these courses. If you continue down your degree progress report, the next banner will list your major program. In this case, this student is pursuing a BS in kinesiology with a concentration in physical education. This section will display the units required for your major, the units taken, which includes completed and in-progress courses, the remaining units required, and your major GPA. Unlike other areas of your DPR, your major requirements section will display a selection of possible courses that you can take to fulfill your major requirements, depending on the year you declared your major. If you have a minor declared, it will be listed afterwards and will read in the same way as your major requirements. Just like the previous graduation requirements on your DPR, carefully go through each section. Read about how to meet each requirement. Verify you have met the requirement already or create a plan for how you will meet this requirement in the future. As you can see, the Degree Progress Report is a great tool to track your progress on all of your graduation requirements. We hope you review your DPR regularly and keep working towards that green circle with a check mark for all of your requirements.